Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nigulescu and today I will show you how to start your NetSuite automation using UiPath Robot. So from UiPath Go, you download the connector for NetSuite. Then you have to install UiPath Studio. So if you don't have it, you go to uipath.com, click on the start trial, and then you will download the community edition, which is free. After you have UiPath, you will go inside of UiPath and create a project. Yeah? Let's say that is NetSuite demo. On this project, you need to add the activity. To be able to add activity, you go to the Manage Package. And on the Manage Package, you will select all packages. And here you'll write NetSuite, NetSuite. And you'll see that you have here UiPath Team NetSuite Activity. And you hit Install and Save. After this, if you go to the um, Activity Panel, you will see that on the Activity Panel, you will have a lot of activities. I think there are 55 now. So under your iPad team, NetSuite, you'll have a lot of activities that allow you to work with different active, different stuff like accounts, journal, partner, and so on. But the main, uh, the main um, activity is the NetSuite application scope. You have to configure this. Here you'll configure your connection with NetSuite. And let's talk about how you configure this connection. To be able to connect the NetSuite, to the NetSuite, you need an account ID, you need the customer key, and you need also a token uh, ID with token secret. So let's understand how we'll get <coughs> this data from your, our NetSuite instance. So first we want to get the account ID. So we'll go to setup, and on the setup we'll go to integration, and on the integration you'll go to web reference and web service preference and on this one you will see that you will have the account id for your system i will not disclose our account id okay now, next we have to find the consumer key and consumer secret so let's understand how we get this consumer key and consumer secret we go again to set up to integration we'll go to manage integration and we hit new yeah we'll give a name to the integration Let's say test the UiPath Robo. Okay, good. And here we'll say that will be a token based authentication. So we hit save and this will provide us a consumer key and a consumer secret. Good. Next step, we need to pro to get the token ID and token secret. Okay, so let's understand how we'll take this stuff. We we'll go back to NetSuite, and on the NetSuite, we will go to user, to token access, and we hit new. On this token access, we'll put the application name. Yeah, test, and then uh, uh, it was test UiPad Robo, what we put there. Then we'll select a user. My name is Christian Negulescu, so I'll select my name. And then I will put a role. For me, it's a uh, UiPath RPA developer. Here, your administrator has to configure a role to to have um, all the things ready for you and all the access. Then when you hit save, the system will provide you a token ID and a token secret. You have this data and with this data, you will go back to UiPath and uh, with this data, you will be able to, um, to configure everything on UiPath Studio. Yeah? So let's go back to UiPath Studio and let's see what we need to configure in UiPath Studio. So I already put my values on UiPath Studio. <coughs> And now, before I test the connection, I have to do this. So, first on the connection, you have to select that if you are on the design time, you will select design and test from the UiPath point of view, and you, you select production if you do something on production and you have um, you have the um, uh, the the keys, the secret, everything with um, uh, secure string and protected and so on, and the data will come from orchestrate. In our case, the data will be raw and come it will be on design and test here from your iPad point of view. And then you have to select the type of the server that you have on NetSuite. You can have a sandbox where it is recommended to make the development and you can have the production, yeah? In my case, I will do a test on the production. So I select the test, it's on the production server on NetSuite and I'm with your iPad on the design test. So if I hit run, test, the system will be able to test the connection from my iPad studio to the server and you see that I have a valid connection, okay? Good. So, in this way, you configure NetSuite. For other details, please follow me on the YouTube here on the, my account. You'll find a lot of videos how to work with NetSuite, how to work with ServiceNow, Salesforce, and other softwares. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.